Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying the free title update for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak which is now live on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC. And on said free title update we actually finally got our hands on armor augmentations, essentially another way for you to be able to find the perfect skills to become available in your armor set. In this video I'm going to teach you essentially how to basically reset your armor augmentations without actually spending the materials themselves until you finally get the skill that you're actually looking for. This is a pretty similar thing that we actually did for a video that I put out a couple of weeks back where I was explaining to people how to actually get uh, god tier talismans and basically how that used to work. Uh, basically Capcom did actually go ahead and patch that out so you can no longer do that. But when it comes to for you to be able to get the perfect augmented skill in your armor set that was actually just recently discovered and we might as well take advantage of it before Capcom most likely ends up patching this out by the end of September which I believe that's when the next free title update is set to drop based on their own wording. So there's some basic table setting that we need to get done out of the way. First and foremost you need to turn off your auto saves if for whatever reason you haven't necessarily done that already make sure you do that i'm going to be showing you on the screen or you might have actually already seen it basically turn off auto saves you don't want to have that on at all now i am going to be explaining what's actually happening underneath the hood essentially what the game is actually doing and why you're able to take advantage of this a little bit later but essentially i'm going to explain the loop first so you get a pretty good understanding of how it is that you actually need to get it done and then i'm going to explain the actual mechanics underneath the entire experience so you should have also already have seen by now that i actually went to the smithy i went ahead and did weapon augmenting and then I basically unlocked the option to be able to augment a brand new weapon, a weapon that simply did not have augmenting available to it. You can choose to do this with a weapon that you already have already unlocked augmenting for, but I actually decided to do this with a brand new weapon so you can actually see how this is actually going to work out if you haven't done any of this already. And you might be asking yourself, wait, wait a minute, you were supposed to teach us how to do armor augmenting but what you're actually showing us is weapon augmentation and there's a reason for that essentially every single time you go into that screen a weapon augmentation option it resets the table or it at the very least moves you forward in the table of afflicted skills that you were supposed to get in whatever armor set you're actually choosing to engage with it gets a little bit technical i want to explain that at the, more at the back end of the video but essentially what you need to know is that this is a critical step in the process. So at this point in time, you should have already unlocked weapon augmenting in whatever weapon you were using it with or you were using already the weapon that you had it unlocked with. What you're going to want to do now is actually save manually in the game. So you're going to go into the options, go into the last tab, you're going to save manually and then you're going to go back to the smithy and then you're actually now going to begin the process for armor augmenting. Now, as you start doing the armor augmenting, one of the things that I would actually suggest to you is actually when the game asks you and it shows you an armor augmentation and it says, do you want to keep the current armor results? Basically click no, and then it should say continue augmenting, say yes. And it's just basically going to continue the loop. Don't actually overlay that whatever result you got unless it's actually the one that you're looking for. But if you don't end up getting the skill that you actually want, whether it's a weak next export or attack plus or whatever it might actually be, what you're going to want to do is actually completely back out from the smithy page and actually quit the game entirely. What you need to make sure is that when you click the quit game option and it asks you to save, do not save. It's going to say if save and quit to title screen, say no, and then say, do you want to confirm? Say yes. So basically no and yes each and every single time. That's going to throw you back into the title screen. And once you're back into the title screen, what you're going to want to do is, again, if you didn't get the actual skill that you wanted, you're going to go right back into the game. You're going to load yourself right back into the game. You're going to run directly back into the smithy. And this time, what you're actually going to do, and this is essentially the loop, that first step that you did, you already did that. You're never going to have to do that again. What you're going to have to do now, essentially, is when you run back to the smithy, you're going to go into the weapon crafting option and you're going to notice that in every single loop that I'm actually showing you, I'm doing the very same thing. I go into the smithy, I go into the weapon curious crafting option 
and I choose one of the any options that's available there. For me specifically, for Light Bowgun, it says add Anomaly, Attack Boost, Affinity, Rampage. You can choose whichever one you want, probably test them out all of them. You can go, you know, one run, do one, and then the next run, do the other one. It doesn't really matter, but it's probably helpful since it's all what you're doing here is actually resetting the table. I'm going to explain that again a little bit later, but ultimately that is what is being done. So after you're done being in the curious crafting option, all you're doing again, you're just going in, you're going to back out completely and you're going to save the game. You didn't do any crafting. Remember, you just loaded back in, you went into the smithy, you went into the curious crafting weapon option, you went into the options, you backed out and now you're going to save. The reason why you're saving right now is because essentially the game now has a brand new table loaded for whatever armor augmenting you're about to start doing. You don't want it to actually do the same one that you did before. So now you can go back directly into the armor augmenting and basically start again. Go ahead and basically look for whatever skill that is that you're looking for. Attack, weakness, exploit, whatever it might be. If you end up finding one, congratulations, you won. If you didn't find the one that you wanted, guess what? You're going to back out, quit game, do not save, and then confirm. It's going to throw you right back into the title screen. And basically that is the loop you have been seeing me do up until this point. Essentially, I go back in from a brand new load into the game. I go into the weapon augmenting option. I click any of the options that are available there. I back out. All you need is to confirm to go in. You don't actually have to do any weapon augmenting. That is the thing you need to remember. You're not spending materials or anything like that. All you need to do is go into the option, back out completely, save the game. This saves you into the brand new table or the brand new spot in the table that you were being put in. And essentially you go back into the armor crafting and then you roll and roll and roll until you actually get the stuff that you want or you don't get the stuff that you want. If you get the stuff that you want, you automatically save and you're done. And then you move on to your next armor piece. You do the same thing all over again. Or if you didn't get what you wanted, you're going to back out completely, quit game, don't save, confirm, and it throws you back to the title screen for you to do another loop. And that is essentially what I've been showing you on the screen right now. Now, what I want to explain a little bit further is actually on the left side of the screen. You should have been seeing by this point in time, essentially a number and all the skills that was actually available to me in that specific reset. So I did 11 total resets for me to actually be able to showcase you just how different the results are from run to run. However, if you have been paying attention and close attention to the actual skills, you might have noticed that in some of the results are actually very similar, if not the same actual result. And the reason for that is that's the weird, funky thing about it. 10% of the time, you're going to get like the same skill appearing and the same result for whatever armor piece you're actually trying to craft. And I don't actually have an answer to that. It doesn't happen all the time. The overwhelming majority of the time that you do this, you're going to get a different result. But there is an off chance that sometimes it's just going to show you that same skill basically being showcased. The same skill showcased, the same defense, the same resistances, either plus bonuses or minuses, whatever they are, for whatever reason, sometimes they end up being the same. The speculation so far, and remember, this is basically brand new, so it's still being figured out. The speculation so far is that whatever table you're actually in, people are, some have suggested that you're being sent into a brand new table of results, essentially a different one every time you save or you're resetting, or it's actually being moved to a different spot in that current table that you're in. You're actually locked into that table and you're moving forward or backward or whatever it might actually be happening. So essentially there is a off chance that you might end up getting the same results in a different order, but essentially that could potentially happen. That's why I say 10% of the time you could actually end up getting the same results. 90% of the time you're going to see a completely brand new skill. It's really just random. That is the whole RNG aspects of this thing. But you know, there is some funkiness to that. Ultimately, does it really matter? Do you really need the whole mathematical breakdown? I don't need it. And you certainly don't either probably don't care. But that is most likely what is happening underneath the hood. All you really need to know is that every time you load in, you go into the weapon augmenting option, you pick any of those options that are available to you. You don't actually augment any of the weapons. All you do is back out, you save, and then you go armor augmenting. And then you just re-roll and re-roll and re-roll. 
basically until you run out of materials or you get the stuff that you want. If you don't get the stuff that you want, well, if you get the stuff that you want, you save. If you don't get the stuff that you want, then you reset by basically going quick game, don't save, reload back into the game, do it again over and over until you get the perfect skills. Now, what are the perfect skills that's really going to matter into the armor set for you? Whatever armor set it is that you're looking for uh, and having those skills available to it. Now, my rule of thumb usually is if you can find a skill, just a basic plus one skill that is like a three slot decoration equivalent. So for me, an example would be like I use stuff like spare shot, rapid fire up and ammo up. All of those are three slot decorations. So if I could just find one of those skills in my armor piece and this augmented option, I could just automatically replace a three slotted decoration by just having this automatically appear as an augmented option in my armor. So that frees up three slotted decos for me to be able to use anything else, basically. So that is like my rule of thumb for you. It could actually be all you want is attack. So basically, that's a two slot decoration that you're freeing up. You remove a two slotted decoration to be able to get a free attack up in your augmented option. It's entirely up to you. Now, a lot of people are going to go ham with this. They're going to say, well, not only do I want attack, but I also want attack and weakness exploit and I want a one slot decoration. So they're going to be rerolling forever because that's basically God rerolls at that point. Uh, kind of like the talismans. If you found the perfect talisman with something around of like three attack, two weakness exploit, three one one slots that's like ridiculously good almost no one has that legitimately a lot of people did by hacking but of course legitimately it was another story so this is probably going to end up being the same thing you can get attack one weakness exploit one and then probably two slot decoration with some actual armor like some people are going to have that if they get really really lucky but most of us obviously won't so it's entirely up to whatever skill that you're looking for that you're going to end up finding the best results so that's pretty much the entire rundown for this. Um, it's sorry that I went a little bit long, but I wanted to be thorough and specific and showcase you that in the 11 different results that I ended up getting, they were all entirely different for the majority, but there is some funkiness to that with the whole table being moved around and stuff like that. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.